Welcome back everyone to Twisted on Roblox. Today we're going to be chasing in the Dominator 3 once again to go ahead and just have some fun. We're going to take a little break from sort of grinding out the Tiv 2 right now. Mainly because we need to build up some money for it. Being that that I basically need 80,000 for two of them. And then it's on to even bigger ones which are going to cost 100,000 to 125,000. That's a big price. Still better than 300,000 for the main one. But yeah. We have the Dominator 3 chase going to go on today. Just got me some, well, I guess you would say lunch. Not really. Oh. Noodle luck is real. That's one heck of a name. <laughs> but I'm not accepting friend requests right now. Sorry about that. Um, let's go ahead and get Dominator 3 out. We're going to have a wonderful day in this thing if it doesn't get stuck in the ground. Oh, Lord. Okay, current money is at 30,000. I've got, okay, I've got these probes. I think we're going to have a pretty good day. What is going on up there? Nothing, that's off map. But we do have something down here. This one, what, what is movement? Oh, just about straight north. So there's a good chance West Viroqua could get hit, or if the hook is ginormous, it could hit Viroqua. Then again, also Deviant Motion can carry it anywhere. Who knows, it could go straight for Prior Lake if it spawns over here. It's very random, but we'll see. We'll wait out the storm and see what happens. 427 for diesel. Quite a hefty price. Luckily in this game, that's basically nothing unless you're starting out and don't know too much about money management in this game. <laughs> so we're all topped off and ready to go. How's the durability look? It could take a tornado or two depending on how slow and powerful they are. Get back in the Dominator and let's take a little look. Oh! Okay, so this one is going to be up here. Okay. That's also a pretty big hook too. Wow. So I say we're going to go with the Tiv 1 here and Sort of move over towards Helma? Yes, Helma. Always mix those up. I've said this before. Don't see anything as of yet. We'll pull over down here where this road go goes south. Don't got brakes. <laughs> we'll sort of just chill here for a moment and well look at things. Sort of saw some for a split second. Nah, I don't see anything just yet. What does it say on radar? Oh, it does got something right here. We do got something happening. So that, yep, there we go. It's coming in right there. That means we're gonna probably wanna move out of this spot and get ready for it somewhere up in this area. Cause it could go this way, it could go this way, or who knows, it could go this way. And it's going this way. Okay. Well, let's move up, but probably ain't gonna touch down and be strong by the time it gets to this road. But yeah, we'll see. If we have to move up another road, we have to move up another road. This camera's very janky today, I must say.
But it's got a pretty good size funnel to it though, I must say that. Oh, this is basically coming straight up at us. Hmm. Oh, the funnel. Okay, I can see it again. I was saying it disappeared for a moment. But, nope. So this is going up through here. It may touch or at least get ground circulation on this road. But we ain't really going to get anything out of it until it gets up here where this guy is. But then again, it can also shift or do anything. Oh, oh. well, it's kind of over us right now. Okay. 60. Uh, 70. Okay, this one has to be, yep, it has to be touchdown or at least ground circulation. Okay, well, let's move up north to the other road and get our position ready. Is this guy... Hello. Don't know why you decided to hop in, but okay. Oh, yeah, it's coming down. We gotta move. And fast. I like the size of this one, too. Very promising. Multi vortex? Uh, could have possibly been when it was over me, but I don't think so. Well, that was almost bad. We're just gonna ignore that ever happened. Oh, we got another storm forming back down south. Looking uh, below Prior Lake, it looks like. Or it could be further, I don't know. Dang, that thing's moving. But then again, we do got a 64 mile per hour movement day, so... That's gonna be pretty absurd. Oh no, that's below Hibbing, not even close to Prior Lake. <laughs> I still gotta get better at gauging stuff. Okay, we can make this turn at just about full speed. Okay, this is gonna be cutting it close. That thing is booking it. Go, 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 faster. This thing is too dang fast. Hey, Craig's here. Fast deployment for the win. Let me back in my seat. Strength, yellow, don't need to really deploy, but I mean, heck, why not? Seventy nine max on that one so far. Eighty. Ninety. One hundred. Woo boy. We got a hundred and three. Did that one by chance count as anything? Three eighty two. I can't remember if I already had that or not though. But we're on the road to 400. Okay, let's chase this thing back down. I have no clue what that guy said. Oh, hey, Dominator 2. How's it going? Oh, hello. Come over here, why don't you? We're gonna <laughs> on the field for the dang thing, and they're flying. Idiots. That's all I have to say for them. This thing is cooking it. Uh, there's a slim chance we may make it. 
Uh, dirt road. No. Uh, I got a last ditch plan for this one. This thing is moving and fast. We wouldn't have been able to deploy on that one. But we can move up. I should have kept on going way back there. But this should get us somewhere. Preferably, I hope. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. That was hydroplaning annoyance. Okay, this thing is not going to slow down for us, so we got to be as efficient as possible. It is red. Oh, crap. That thing is strong! And we can't get off here, so that just makes us even worse. Okay, we got to go up to the next road to be able to do this. Go up, over, down, and possibly get an intercept on this thing. Now time to floor it! Once I get back up to speed and on this straight, I'll look at radar again. Holy crap! Hey! Craig's there. Nifty. We might get something good out of this one. Once I get down to this road, I'll take a look at where it's going. It's also going directly for our old farm, so that's great. Uh... Well, it's doing that. I'm alone on this one now. Uh, got everything down. Let's go. Yes, we caught it. And 117 um, out the back so far. Oh, that was a sudden stop. Well, it did shrink too, so that, that explains it. Okay. Now that had to count for an intercept, I would say. Yep. 383. And a grand way to do it. A last minute decision to pull on into this area actually got us a good intercept to core it, even. Now we do got that storm back down south and I do see a tornado on it. Oh gosh. Well, I hope I can get over this. <laughs> I can. Good. So what I say we're going to do is go ahead and head back down south and see what we could do with that other storm. Also, I think it's time for headlights now. Well, by the time I got to this one down here, it's uh, going. That one's going up there too. Uh, we're sliding on over into an enhanced day. But there is a chance this one could recycle, so... I think I'm gonna hop up towards, uh, Kisota 53. And just on the some chance it does recycle, we'll be up there and ready. It just came back, but it came back on this road. So what I need to do is I'm going to follow this road all the way down, probably punch through it and go up. It recycled in the new day, so at least this will give us a glimpse, I guess, into what this is going to be like. It's basically the same movement direction, wind speed increasing, uh, but it is a slower movement speed day, which is nice. Uh, 
Okay, I can barely see, so I'm gonna have to rely on the mini map. Are you looking? Okay, kind of coming this way. Probably coming towards the intersection up here, and it's right beside us. Oh boy. <laughs> right up in this area somewhere I'm gonna do a little guesswork and say that right here oh don't do that that's not a good thing okay we're gonna do that there and then hop back in. Just gonna deploy anyways. Oh, hey Dominator one. It's basically going more towards the main road. Where did I put my head first? Turn around. Go, go, go. Get back to the road and go north. Oh, it's back to rotation. Oh. Maybe we do go back to the other road. That was just on and hit uh, east. May not make it to that storm. Don't even know if it's actually going to produce anything right now because it could be already stopped. Don't know. But we'll go and check it out. Okay, this new tornado is actually right up ahead of us. And you see it right there. Um, we're gonna punch through this thing. Okay, that's about the only way I see us getting on the other side of it quick enough. If that even works. So it's going sort of up through here. I think it may head into town. Which is not good. But, we'll see. Okay, there's some of the wind speed. We're about to go through it. It's green now, okay. And with the way it looks, it shifted a little. So I'm gonna say it's probably just about on the same path. Okay, go up and over. All right, there. There goes the sirens, and somebody spawns in the town. Oh, son! <laughs> oh gosh! It's here! It's here! Can you not do that right now? Holy, that thing actually got some size to it, I think. I think it's right there. Yeah. We're gonna be to the outer edge of it, but... Yeah. It'll do. Money made is money made. What was that? I can get some debris or something.
Okay, so this one's basically grazing the west edge of Ladina. Probably getting at least through this area. If I'd have to guess about the wind field. Because this one's got a decent wind field to it. Oh, we actually kind of made it into the funnel a tiny bit. So it did shift a little over to us. Interesting. this thing and we're ready to go this thing is gonna keep moving on but I reckon we can go for some messinette winds or maybe even punch through it and get an intercept that way got a little bit of a sidewinder look to it oh gosh that's a fancy Oh, it's straight up ahead. Look at how that thing's shifting. Okay, going for it. Oh, God. I got spun that one out. <laughs> Definitely seeming a bit weak. Right behind us now. This is basically just one to watch. <laughs> I mean, look at that thing. Nifty. Well, I reckon we're gonna head on back down to Prior Lake and or into Hazleton. We'll see. I haven't really uh, chilled at Hazleton in a while. I only mainly did that in 1.20. You know, I didn't think about it, but let's go back and take a look at the damage path. Get a look at it. You can tell it looked like Wilmar was missing his top glass, but I still haven't discovered if it can be destroyed yet or not. Oh, okay. Winfield is at least into here. Hmm. Well, it did kind of come in at an angle. So, yeah, that would explain that. Not major damage by any means, which is good. Just some trees knocked over and some roofs missing. Hmm. Well, that's a tree. <laughs> well, I reckon, uh, let's head back to Hazleton. Gotta fuel this thing up a little bit, even though it's only 89%. Better to have it topped off. I think it's time we step up the challenge a little bit more today and switch from Dominator 3 to the Pro Truck. Do some more action where it's a little more risky to get close. And therefore, definitely more fun. <laughs> Goal, don't get sucked up by the tornado today. I don't think they'll be too bad. We should get some entertainment at the least. Hey, looky there. We got a storm of farming. Let's get going. Now, where is this one at? Oh. Might have one aimed towards Hibbing. Okay, well, let's put the strobes on and let's head on out. Because this is going to be a decent drive to get down there. Let's go. Ground circulation has shown itself nifty. And it's instantly yellow. <laughs> now, I didn't really get a good look where this thing is going because it's actually quite tiny on radar. Which may not be too good for our probe situation. 
Hey, we got a Dow. Nifty. I would almost say it's coming directly up at us. Kind of hard to tell. Maybe coming more back towards this uh, turn. And it's orange. It's orange. Turn around. Let's get back up here to this. We'll get another look at it. One more good look. Uh, I think I'm going to stick right here and get out of here. Let's go, let's go. We'll see how that does. I think, don't think it's gonna be a head on, but we'll see. I think it may have went more north. <laughs> We may see something happen. And again, we may not. Yeah, I think it may have just more went north, possibly. Still a chance, though. Doesn't seem like it. I think I may start moving back in to get the probes. Yeah, this is gonna be a challenging day for sure if they're gonna be this small. Cause I mean, I didn't even get anything off of that. So this windfield small is gonna be very hard to deal with. Hmm. And it's red. Oh boy. <laughs> I may try to get over here and shoot north if it ain't on the road by the time I get there. Time to run it a little risky. So this thing's going towards uh, the intersection up there. If I can make it in time, I am. Oh boy, we got field goers. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why, guys? Why? Why do you do this? Okay, let's get up here. Uh, I don't care. It looks like it's going that way, but if it gives us something, it gives us something. Why are you going that way? Do we got another one over yonder? Yep, we do. No, I ain't getting anything on these either. Oh, no, there we go, 45. Okay, it is very tight wind field. Oh boy. You basically have to be in the funnel to get this. Is it coming towards us? Hello, tornado. Bye, tornado. Hmm. 
Okay, right, let's grab these. Let's miss grabbing those. Apparently I suck at this job. <laughs> Come here. There we go. Got it. Um, let's get back on the road. Problem is, is that one's way over there. And I can't even see it to tell what size it is. I don't even see where it is. I don't know. Oh, that's right over there. Okay. It's in that area. It is hidden. That's not good. Not a good one bit. Well, I guess it's time to give another go with this one, if possible. There's a flipping guy chasing it straight through the middle of the field. <laughs> You know, I've actually drove through the middle of a field once. It wasn't to get to a tornado or anything. It was just out of pure boredom. Because nothing happened that day. Well, I reckon as that one dies off in the background, that's going to mark the end of this episode. So I want to thank you all for watching this one. It's been a fun one, sort of going back to the old style of where I would do a main focus vehicle for the first part of the video and then switch it off to just something random. Been fun doing that again. And plan to do it more. So, again, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.